people, welcome back to another episode of All The Mods Expert. I hope everybody's doing alright. I'm doing pretty good. And today, today we're continuing to make our path towards our beautiful stars that we're trying to make. So if we look here, we are trying to get to this. So there's, there's things, like I said, that I can already do, like the advanced. The crystal cluster will be another story. <laughs> There's also the Imatol, which we need to do, which we need to go to a little bit further to Abyssal Craft, which is nice because Abyssal Craft is pretty cool. Uh, and, of course, there is our stick situation, which is pretty cool. Uh, but the one thing we do need is a, this octuple compressed cobblestone. So, what I need to do is uh, build... Uh, no, it's a crafter, and I don't think I've got a recipe for that. Again, uh, let's do the crafter again. Let's see what we need. The same thing we needed last time. Uh, this time I'm a little bit more prepared, except for these things. So let's do 64 because every time I seem to be missing any. Uh, so, right. And then we need the machine. The machine. Which should be faster because I've upgraded my machines. As you can see, uh, it's not outputting this fast enough. So let's put <laughs> some upgrades. Uh, no, they're cards. There you go. I've got my acceleration cards. Uh, at the top. There we go. So there we go. That should work better. <laughs> okay. So this is going to work. Uh, so as you can see in my inventory, I've got a little bit of different things. Uh, uh, like, I've got the builder block, I've got the power cell, which we're gonna go and fuse. Let's see, do I have more shards? Uh, we're gonna take this. Is this one... No, this one is silk touch. I believe I've got my... There we go. Okay, and I should also have a wand. No, let's not use this one because it's broken. Uh, let's use this one because this one's not broken. Okay, so shard. Let's grab some of that. We'll we do it here. We don't care. We're not going to break anything. Well, we shouldn't. All right. Okay, and let's do this. Uh, also, I'm going to show you a little glitch that I've been having. It seems to happen when I go to other dimensions and I come back. Um, all right, so let's do... If you didn't know, you can do that, and it's going to fill your inventory with the items. You don't need to activate it, you just need to right-click it. And there you go, you see I'm picking these up, just by right-clicking on it. Okay, uh, I don't know why I placed all of them in there, I need to take them out. Okay, So we're going to place the the energies out, well even though we don't really need to, we're, we're not going to do that, we're not. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I've been doing this with a bunch of things, and I'm also going to show you the wood uh, dimension. It's been uh, having some issues. Let's just go with that. Uh, I had to turn off do fire ticks on the server, simply because there's lava in the dimension. So wood, lava, don't mix together. Uh, so alright, we've got the crafter. And I'm pretty sure we've got some nodes, and we've got some upgrades, uh, like these, like that. Probably we'll need more speed upgrades, but that's easy to do. Uh, we need... That's... we need 18 more. There we go. Like this. Uh, I don't think we'll need the stack upgrade, but we'll keep it. Uh, we'll need one more of these, and of course we'll need the pipes. So there we go, we've got the pipes. Uh, we'll need water. So give me, like, water. And we'll need lava as well, which we have. And uh, one piece of cobblestone. Perfect. So we're gonna do this... Uh, I think I already have one in the back here. Yeah, I've got one in the back over here. But I think I'm going to do this on the outside. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, 
maybe here. Like, you know, next to the other one. Because if we go down, we're, we're probably going to see uh, that we have the other one. But, alright. So, let's do this, like, right next to the wall. So, we're going to put this here. Going to put the crafter there. So, we're going to get the items from the bottom here. And what we'll do is simply... I uh, can't grab the right thing. We're going to do a little bit of an enclosure. And... Like so. Of course, this here is going to be broken. This, 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 or that. I don't know which side I'm going to use yet. Uh, but alright, so this is going to be there. Oh, I believe this is also going to be broken. And we're going to have one node on each side. Uh, like a so. Alright. So these nodes will have, of course, one of these with 20 of these. So, one of these with 20 of these. Uh, one of these with 20 of these. And one of these with 20 of these. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Uh, then, we're going to need to pass some cables. There we go. And this is going to go all the way to the top over here. Uh, I believe we can also, yeah, we can we can rig this in the back, and we're gonna put our power right there. Uh, I think I need to make another power cell because this one's going to be used for the builder's block, not for this. Uh, but yeah, so what this is going to do is when I take out these two, and I go lava and uh, water. So it's going to put cobblestone in here and then we'll be able to simply do this apply well we're gonna do interior but yeah as you can see it's going to fill in the, th the stuff for the moment so yeah that's pretty cool let's make a power for this uh power cell i have one of you i would just need a tiny power cell so there we go, it's already linked, everything's working perfectly, alright, so let's put this thing, I'm thinking here, it's gonna be on out, and with this, and of course we need to get a one of these ender cables and place it behind. Okay, so we'll need to break one to be able to place it in. There we go. And then we're going to need to do the same thing. Apply. And then we're going to need to do the same thing with this one. Like so. Apply. And then the same thing with this one. Apply. And then, well, you know, the stone is just continue, going to continue moving around. Uh, to be honest, I am not sure if this changes anything. Let's see. Eh, this doesn't seem to change anything when I put the stack upgrade. Seems to be doing the same speed. Uh, I don't know if there's any other way to get cobblestone faster than that. If you guys know any way, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe there's like a block that can do it faster. Turn this. Uh, I am not in any position of any knowledge what i could do is make blocks and then make like make i don't know uh, something crazy like a quintuple or septuple compressed cobble and then make a block if i have like 100 or something like that i will be able to make a dimension of it and then it's going to be that instead of this thing here uh, but yeah, I find that this is uh, the little thing that we need. Of course, I'm gonna have to come here and go all the way to Octuple. And the Octuple are gonna be uh, exported. But, alright, next thing. Uh, in my inventory, we need to remove a couple of things. We're gonna remove these. 
uh, that as well, the two buckets, and this and that and this. All right, so next we're gonna go to home quarry. The home quarry has been removed. Yeah, because I removed it. So, all right, in here, I have something already done. So again, you can, you know, do these kind of things. Uh, we're gonna do solid box. So what I'm telling him, go a thousand five hundred blocks that way, and don't move. Uh, wait. No, I'm not telling him that. I'm telling him to go zero, 1,500. Uh, yes. Wait, is it this way? Yes, we're going up this way. That That's what I want. So it's going to go this way and start mining. Let's hope it doesn't go this way because 1,500 blocks that way is pretty much our base. So <laughs> the, it, it really needs to go that way. So what we're going to do, we're going to put that in there. We're gonna try to get a uh, something. I've also modified a couple of things here. Uh, this thing is like minus pi priority 23, so it's always gonna focus the other two first. We need a stick. Okay, that didn't give a stick. So let's go get a lever instead. Uh, a lever. There we go. Let's go back to the quarry. And on this side, we need to place this this thing is gonna get power again i don't want too much power on it uh, and something we're gonna do we're gonna do why did i take damage oh i'm getting attacked by you hey buddy you're dead okay uh so this thing seems to be working what we're gonna do we're gonna do uh game mode three just to make sure it's go it goes in the right direction so we said a thousand five hundred blocks that way. I don't care about anything anyway under there. A uh, thousand five hundred blocks that way. That's about in a thousand blocks. That's actually pretty far. If it's that way, let's hope it's that way. Uh, so it's about here. So we should see a hole. Unless I don't remember. Uh, silk touch. I have, oh, I think I've got this one. Yeah, I think I've got the one that doesn't clear but plays dirt. So it's going to be pretty much impossible to figure out <laughs> where it is. Uh-oh. Because also it's going to go to the side, one of the two sides for like 250 blocks. So yeah, pretty much impossible for me to determine where it is. Uh, it would be nice to know where it's actually being used. Uh, but I don't have that. Alright, so let's let's just quit uh, this thing. I don't want to do anything. Well, you can't do anything. Uh, no, that's not the one. That is the one. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, it doesn't say where it is. That's, that's the issue. I really hope it's that way silk car yeah i don't have the clearing one i have the one that like actually puts dirt instead so yeah i i, I wish it would give you the position exactly of where it is so does it say offset zero 37 no it just says that Okay, well, well, we'll let it go. If, if it destroys my base, I'll roll back the world and I guess it's going to go that way instead. Wait, is this? No, no that's not it. All right, well, well, we'll see what happens. And like I said, if it does my base, well, we'll, uh, we'll roll back because I don't want it to do my base. So, all right, we've done that now. So now we'll need this thing here. And we're gonna go home nether. And we need to find... Uh, a wither skeleton. That's what we want. There we go, there's one here. So now we grab it. We change this thing here. 
Then we destroy this thing here. And we should have a Wither Skeleton Broken Spawner. Perfect. Okay. Let's go back home. And normally, what they say is that you keep the mob inside of it when you craft it with this. It should have a content that is saved. So we're going to take that. So now this thing should be with skeleton. I do hope it's a wither skeleton because it's if it's a normal skeleton, I'm not going to be happy. Okay. And of course, uh, let's take the tablet for the spawner. There are other things you can do with them, I believe, or that was in older versions. Uh, spawners. There we go. Okay, so the Draconic will between 2 and 0.5 and 10 seconds between spawns. This spawns 8 mobs. Does not require a player nearby. Ignore more mob spawn requirements. Okay, so we're going to try this at our home spawners. Okay, we're going to go up, turn everything off. off uh, the only issue is now that I placed water everywhere I kind of need to go at the top to go at the bottom all right and we're simply going to place this guy like here and there's nothing inside dang it <laughs> I knew it was too beautiful to be true so I don't know why they say that it saves content like what content there's nothing inside. So what that means is I need to go kill a bunch of Wither Skeleton. So let me go do that. Alright guys, so I've been doing this for about like an hour and a half and I can't get anything else but a skeleton soul. So I'm gonna plug it in, we'll see what's going to happen. If it will do like a skeleton or wither skeleton. Oh, it does wither skeleton. Nice. Okay. Okay, that was the plan. That was the plan. Alright, I didn't know because it keeps giving like skeleton souls. But I'm pretty sure the other one is even faster. Uh, if we do this, as you can see, like it's... T the tier 5 spawner seems to be even faster than this thing. Uh, so yeah, did this thing that I've done for an hour and a half? Completely useless. Because we already had the best thing. Uh, I even, like, let me show you. I even had, uh, I even installed, which I'm going to have to go and kill like a bunch of guys. This thing needs to go. There we go. They went everywhere. <laughs> All right, so there we go. And I can't kill this guy because he's too close to the witch and I don't want to kill him. There we go. All right, nice. So yeah, I ended up doing a portable a powered spawner with wither inside. And still, it was only giving me skeleton. So I was like a little bit down, so I decided to try it. And as it turns out, it kind of works, kind of. No, because it's still slow. I'm surprised because Draconic Evolution was the way to go. And like it was even better normally than this tier 5, I think. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I've done these. But uh, we've got a little bit more, you know, spawner actions going. So that's cool. We, we were able to see this. Um, I was looking at the sword from the Conic Evolution. And seriously, I think I'm going to make it. Uh, I'm going to make again the sword. Of course, I need to make uh, this. Uh, the reason is it has a better attack speed. So I'm going to make this one and like boost it. It's going to be lower than this one, but it will have a better attack speed because 0.5 attack speed is really bad. So, all right, let's do core 
I should have still everything that I need. I'm gonna need more of you. Yes. Uh, okay, so to do this one, you need also Awakened, which I should have. So let's make it... Uh, th this sword has 2 in attack speed, and this one is like 0.5, so it's kind of annoying to the fact that like it's really slow. Alright, so let's do this. Boom, boom. Let's do this and that. Let's start this. So I'm going to upgrade it because we're going to need a better weapon, like, well, a faster weapon. This this weapon is pretty much the best in terms of damage. But in terms of everything else, it kind of sucks. So it's more of a tool, so it should go in my fort. And I'm going to get a sword going. Things are going to be better. So there we go. So this one does 35 damage, but the speed is 2. So it's a lot better. And of course, what we're going to do is we're going to boost its, uh, you know, we're going to boost its stats with uh, some of the upgrades that we have in here. Uh, of course, I will have to go and uh, prepare these and I will upgrade it. I'll bring you guys back after to see uh, the difference between this one that is 105 and this one is going to do around 80, if I remember correctly. Alright guys, so the verdict on the sword is, check this out, <laughs> 64 damage, so it's it's 40 damage lower, but just the 2 attack speed, it's so much better than 0.5, like really, 0.5. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I told you, but uh, you can gain all the stack of levels by just shift right clicking, instead of doing all of them one by one, just do them all at the same time, it's worth it. Alright, so I didn't show you, but this guy is currently SS, so it's the top one that you can do. But it's not really that powerful unless you have Gaia stuff. So of course what we're going to do is we're going to make Gaia ingots. And, oh yes, it's going to make me... Okay, there it is. Okay, so we're going to take two of these. We use all our Gaia spirit, but we're gonna go fight the second boss in here. And we should be fine. Uh, I'm will lower the sound of the game because my armor is gonna go crazy. And the sounds is gonna go crazy as well. So, alright, let's do this. I don't think... Yeah, I can't fly because I'm not using a jetpack. It's gonna be a little bit hard. Because he teleports faster. Uh, there he is. I should do the trick that I found uh, with the double, uh, the double, <laughs> the double carpet. But I would need to make a new place for this. Wow. Okay, he dies quickly. Where is he? Okay, there you go. We're gonna get the bad guys now. Yeah, we're, we're not really taking any damage. And this is why I needed that sword, because I don't want to go hit all of them. One of them is fine. And we, we might even get souls from it, or things like that, so that could be cool. So this is the hard one? The hardest one of them, so it's with the guy's spirit and get instead of just the normal terror ceiling get. And he also drops. Good loot, normally. Perfect. Oh wow, now I'm taking damage. But look at the speed I regen my my armor. Okay, now he teleports quick, so you gotta be quick. Oh yeah, he's way too far. <laughs> there we go. So this is all the loot you get. Uh, and this is the problem a little bit, I placed like looting on it, <laughs> so I'm gonna get like a bunch of things I don't want. Alright, so what do we get? Well, we get runes, we also get 16 guy spirit per guy spirit ingot, and we get this, the dice of fate. And I got the Eye of the Flugel. Uh, this one, I don't remember what it does. Oh yeah, 
Okay, now I remember. Ah, oh, now I'm going to have this there all the time. Can you? Wait, is it? I thought you teleported with it or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Well, we got the eye of the flugel. Uh, it's not something that interests me, so let's do another one. If you don't know as well, uh, you need a lot of the Gaia's, uh, Gaia's shards for uh, the end game to make the Batania infinite mana pull. So this is kind of why I'm also going to need to kill a bunch of those because you need 20 per shards of Laputa and you need 8 shards of Laputa to, to do uh, the, the mana pull at the end. So this is going to be something I'm pretty much going to have to do for quite some time. And seeing the fact that I need to gather 160 of them. Which means 10 guys pretty much, but considering the fact that I need to use them to spawn the guys, it's a little bit more than that. It's about maybe 12 or 13 guys that I need to fight. So this fight is going to be a little bit repetitive. Maybe I'll do, uh, yeah, I'll move this to another place where I have it set up properly, where the guy can't teleport or anything. It's pretty cool when you do it. It's, uh, I did it in my other series, and it was pretty cool. You just put carpet, and it can't teleport on carpet. Well, two stack of carpet. And since it can't teleport, well, it just teleports back in the middle all the time, every time you hit it. So it's a good uh, trick to get this, like, quite easy. Oh, we even got the Pinkinator! Uh, let's take these that way. I think I've got everything. So I've got even more runes, which is good because you don't have to make them, so it's a lot cheaper. We got another Dice of Fate, so let's see. Oh, we got the... Uh, the food. So this is gonna use f uh, mana instead of items to eat so we could use this instead of the glowing bread but the glowing bread i like because it's one time and everything is like everything is regenerated so you don't need like a bunch of it but yeah this is pretty cool now i will have to do this like a quite some time but i think now it's time to look a little bit over here because i didn't look at this one so we've got triple Quadruple. So we've got some quadruple. We actually have a lot. So what we'll be able to do is do the next one, which is the quintuple. Uh, let's do this. Apply. It's going to give me quintuple. And with the quintuple, I will do the sextuple. So let's do apply. Sextuple. Yeah, okay. And then when we'll get this one, we'll do the septuple. And then there's going to be the octuple. Compress. But now we're gonna go home wood. Because I wanna show you what I mean by things went out of a hand. Uh, eh, I'm also lagging a little bit. So this is where I'm mining, okay? And this is what the fire did. <laughs> it, it kind of went nuts, like just a tiny bit, tiny bit nuts. It's like, Everything is gone, pretty much. So I had to do a fire tick off just for this, kind of. Uh, but in here, it works really well. We have septuple. Uh, we have four, so in four more, we'll be able to get one octuple. And the octuple will allow us to make the sword. And this sword, well, it's used in here. So... I think we're pretty good right now. I think the next step will be to go in the end and gather like a bunch. I mean, a bunch of these. We need this this star. There's six recipes. So we need at least six heads uh, for, for it to actually work. So I think next episode is going to be this and maybe also a little bit of Abyssal Craft so we can get into it a little bit more. But 
That is going to be it for today, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.